All right, here we go. Spawning down in the bottom right for Dragon Kites of Gaming. It is Hero. In the red. And his opponent. Spawning up at the top left for Onside Gaming. It is Maru. In the blue. Both of these players have a claim to best player in the world right now. But who will take the series this time? Of course, this is the KSL for the Korean StarCraft League. Very cool. Very cool. Great initiative. You can check out their Patreon. Korean StarCraft League. Or support directly at the Matcherino for each tournament. If you want to increase the Pies Pool for a specific tournament. Because you maybe you really enjoyed the games that the players played in that specific tournament. Whatever floats your boat. Oh, Gateway. No, no, no. Wait. Okay. He was just checking. He was just checking size. It's fine. It's fine. Zealot being produced. Now, is this a safety Zealot to make sure he doesn't get NG Bay blocked? That's exactly what it was. And as he sees that he's not, he cancels it. Starts up the Nexus. Pylon says your Reaper doesn't get to come in this way. It also doesn't get to leave this way. Now, what are we going to be seeing here? Was Maru maybe thinking about a bunker? If he was, he has decided against it. But it's entirely possible he just wanted to make sure there was when there was a nexus. Oh, that is a quick tech lab. Are we going to be seeing a concussive shells opening out of Maru? Well, it's not if we are. Nothing. It can't be anything else. It has to be. There it is. Wow. This is very uncommon from really anyone, but especially from a player like Maru. And look at this. We see the Sentry, Sentry first opening. This is something that some Protoss players have been tinkering with. And I feel like against this, the Concussive Shells opening could be amazing because the Hallucination Scout. Oh man, can Maru sneak around potentially? Wait, hang on, did he cancel? Did he cancel concussive shells and just restart it? Am I Am I hallucinating? Is he going is he going to fake this? Is he going to look at the sentry and say, "Hey, you're I think he's going to wait for the hallucinated phoenix to leave." And then he's going to cancel the shells. Maybe he did build two marauders. Nah, never mind. It's such a cheap and fast upgrade. He just wanted to prioritize his factory and starport. Now, there is no shield battery at the front. And a Reaper and two Marauders can actually kind of fight this. And if he can kill the Stalker and the Sentry... Oh, he switches target fire to hit the Adept for a moment. Yeah, he definitely wants to be targeting these units. Hero making a Nexus in the face of a losing battle. He will eventually kill these Marauders, but he's going to lose a lot of stuff. That's a very good couple of trades for, uh, he, well, for Maru, I would say. Uh, I mean, it's pretty even, but he kills the Sentry and the Stalker. He gets value at the very least. Definitely got value. The fact that he took the third in front of his eyes is just amazing. That is, that is the kind of chat energy that we're looking for. Uh, now, warping in three adepts right afterwards. I don't think Maru's expecting this. And this is going to be one-shot potential on these SCVs. Very quick SCV pull coming on in from Maru. Ooh. Hero already grabbing three SCVs, though. Widowmine drop is going across the map right now. Hero just... Uh, looking for any kind of damage he can find. He will grab another two SCVs. And he will shade out. Here comes the Widowmine drop into the natural. This is looking very good for Hero right now. Maru going to try and burrow that one mine. It is not going to get anything done. And the second mine only gets a single probe. This is an incredible start for Hero right now. He's already up 10 workers. He's got that third Nexus done. 
Robotics facility is finished up. He can go straight up into a robotics bay just about. He's nearly got the money for that. This is looking very nice for Hero. Oh, looks like it's going to be a Twilight Council and a Forge. Okay. Maru behind us. He is going straight into a Five Racks. No hesitation on that whatsoever. He is going to try and kill Hero very quickly. And in that case, I really feel like Hero would have really much rather had the uh, Colossus tech still. This is a great situation for Hero right now. Ooh, now if he sees that it's five barracks, I think you go straight up into... I think you go straight up into charge. Yeah, he starts an immortal immediately. There it is. Charge and plus... Oh, plus one armor. Okay, that's that's a great decision, actually. He knows he's going to be going very heavy on the Zealots. Yeah, that's very smart. Meanwhile, two Adepts and a Stalker and a War Prism. Man, Maru is going pure Marine right now. Not even getting uh, add-ons for the 4th and 5th Barracks. He is looking to hit extremely fast. But Hero is going to get a good amount of damage done, I think, with this little drop. Only one SCB so far. Oh, Maru. Well, he big stim, but his medivacs are already out. Hero did lose the Stalker, but he saves the War Prism and the two Adepts. The War Prism, just keep it there. Either you force a Viking, which is, well, what Maru is going to be building. Uh, and that slows his attack down a little bit. Oh, hang on. Will that... Okay, Maru did see that. Does that port cause a cancel on the Viking? Uh, he's going to let it finish, it looks like. Yeah, lets it finish. Zell is coming across the map. War Prism as well. Does spot this army. Here comes the plus one attack. Oh, it's finished now. War Prism will go down, but he saves two of the three Zealots. Charge not yet done. Force field's on the ramp. Trying to catch some of this army. Here comes the boys as well. Oh, he needs to see some force fields on the ramp. Force fields on the ramp. Hero not dropping them, really. Okay, there's another force field. Will break up these Marines quite nicely. Siege tank not going to get taken down there. Finally, it goes down. A nice hot pickup on the Immortal. Second Immortal, at least. This is a huge army supply lead for Maru. Hero is in so much trouble. Archon trying to warp on in, but Maru hitting so fast and hard. Man, this looked just so so strong. This looked unstoppable. Maru not hesitating in the slightest. And Hero will be forced to tap out in eight minutes in game number one. Very quick victory for Maru. All right, here we go. Game number two. Spawning up at the top right for Dragon Kite to Gaming. He's going for a 12 pylon. He's got something aggro on the mind. It's Hero. And his opponent spawning down on the bottom left for onside gaming. It is Maru. In the blue. That is going to be a... Was this a 13 or a 14 gate? Not sure, but it is going to be a fast cybernetics core. Now, will this be like... Is this going to be a, a one base void ray all in? This is, this is how things used to be played by Protoss. There it is, the double gas. I mean, right now, that's what this is looking like. It's not guaranteed just yet, but this probe, probably going to be building the second pylon on the map. At the very least, it's going to be proxy Stargate. But really, the only reason to get a gateway this fast is so you can get your cybernetics core super fast and therefore get your Stargate super fast and it is looking like we are going to see some heavy aggression here now it could just be proxy oracle we will see in a moment it'll depend on you know whether he takes a nexus what the what the goal is here cybernetics core will be finished at like 149 150 At 149, and he starts to Stargate instantly. And Maru, fortunately for him, he does SCV scout. He's going to see the Cyber Core is already done before the two-minute mark at 158. That is fast. And he sees no star or uh, no second pylon at home. 
Pro, meanwhile, will... Oh, drop a Bylon. Uh, sees the command center on the low ground, of course. Maru looking around with the Reaper. He knows that there's got to be something on the map. He just doesn't know exactly where it is. Now, is this going to be Oracle or Void Ray? It should... Well, actually, hang on. We're not seeing any more probes just yet. Okay, that's just because he just wants to expand. So it is just fast Oracle. But this was really fast proxy Oracle. Oh, Maru's going to find it. SCV ready. Yep, sees it. He barely sees it, but he still sees it. And that's all that counts. And now he starts up a Widow Mine. He gets a bunker in the main base. Oh, this is looking so good for Maru right now. Kiru needs to find a lot of damage with this. He jumps on the Marines, but he will not get the kill on all three Marines before the bunker finishes. He will find at least... Uh, he gets two SCVs. Honestly, this is, this is not enough. Not yet. Oh, putting that on patrol feels... I, I don't like that. You don't want to take any more hull damage here. Now, hang on. Is he going to mind drag into the, the mineral line and try and use the second Oracle to gun down a bunch of SCVs? I think so. I think he's going to use this to try and bait out the Widow Mine. No, no, no. Uh, oh, he's looking for where the mine is. Ah, now there's enough Marines, though. Maru, <laughs> with how aggressive Hero is being with these Oracles, there's like very little area that is secure for Maru right now until he gets this Cyclone. But once he does, he will regain full control over his main base. Ooh, Hero. Oh, there's the scan. But not going to get the kill. And that's good for, for Hero. He takes a fair bit of hull damage on the high energy Oracle, but... He also manages to uh, waste a scan of his opponents. Now, because Hero kept all the Oracles alive, this might still be okay for him. I like this position for Maru, but I don't hate it for... Oh, actually, now I really like it for Hero. Oh, that's a really nice find. Gets five kills right there. Very well done by Hero. That's what he needed. That's what he needed. And now he definitely has a lead. Of course, the Pylon and Stargate will go down, but very nice move. Oh, hidden Widow Mine. Very nice job right there from Maru. I did not see that, and neither did Hero, and that's a dead Oracle. Behind this, Hero is on three gates, got Blink about halfway done. Maru just now started Stim, and he's got his third barracks on the way. No starport just yet. But will likely be going into it. Yeah, just right about now. Reactor on the way as well. Combat shields will be forthcoming very shortly. And it's going to be this 3-1-1 timing. But, yeah, I think I like Hero's position. I think I like Hero's position in this game. His third Nexus is nearly done. Does need to start up Charge pretty much immediately. And he'll, he'll need his gateway explosion very quickly. Oh, Widowmine. Ooh, wandering a little bit too far forward. Will get taken down. Nice snipe on one of those Cyclones. That's going to make it a lot safer to move those Oracles around. The death of the Widowmine and the Cyclone. Uh, and that means he's going to be able to revelate a lot more easily. What am I, or uh, Reaper? We'll get on out, but we do see these stalkers going into the natural expansion. They're able to pick off a refinery and a couple of SCVs. Not, not bad at all. Scan coming on down. Does see the third Nexus is not building probes. He sees the gateway starting on up. That is huge information. Big blink into the main base. We're going to see SCVs getting pulled. Both oracles go down. Good target fire right there. Hero. I think he's got enough to win this fight just about, though. Maru trying to get in range of the low-ground stalkers. And he will get a couple of them, but this is going to be so many dead SCVs. It's now a 20-worker lead. And Hero's about to finish up his charge. Plus one is on the way. Yeah, this game is this game is out of control now for Maru. Hero has 
pretty much run away with this one, I think. Oh, he even gets the bunker here. Does lose a stalker. But going to be able to kill off a couple of marines as well. Nice little stasis ward at the front. Maru. Going to have to be mindful of that. Oh, okay. I think he saw it. Meanwhile, Zealot's warping in actually aggressively. And a fourth Nexus on the way. Hero has also added on a fourth gas and spruced himself up to 63 probes. Great probe count right now. Ooh, Maru going to try and draw Hero in. But Hero able to just avoid it and get out. Maru once again going for... Actually, no, this is a... This is just a fourth barracks. Why is he on four barracks? No reactor. Oh, this is a very funky all-in that he's doing right here. He will have concussive shells, 1-1. One, one, and several tanks. But Hero... Yeah, Hero is going to be able to jump this, jump this. He's got charge done. And this looks... Well, this looks very dangerous for Mara. I like the SCV pull right here. Hero will actually lose all of his charge lots very quickly. Hero needs to get out with these stalkers. Good job. Does save a good number of them. And meanwhile, more zealots warping in aggressively. Hero needs to chill a little bit. Like, there's really no reason to be doing this. He's taking... He's on four Nexus. Why are we doing anything other than chilling? This is nice. This is very nice. And keeping tabs on units with the Stalkers, very good. But he's got to be careful that he doesn't get too aggressive and too overconfident. Now, this Zealot Warpin, Zealot Drop now, is going to be very effective. Maru, even losing just a single Marauder right here is a pain. Viking being produced now as well. Hero, just, just macro. Just, he's got a huge macro lead right now. Just build Zealots. And if your opponent moves out, come after it. There's the SCV pull, but it is a paltry SCV pull. It is very small. I love the targeting of the Maraud or the uh, add-ons right here. Killed a tech lab and a reactor, and that's the Widowmine reactor as well. Ooh, Blink Forward tried to snipe a tank. Not able to get it, but... Hero, as long as he doesn't take a horrible engagement, he should have this game completely wrapped up. Look at this, he's gonna flank with the Zealots, dropping in from behind. Archon's Guardian shielded, and with the Immortals and Archon's game, it's gonna be way too much. Masterclass from Hero in game number two, and he is gonna even the series at one apiece. And here we go for game number three, spawning up at the top left for Dragon Kites of Gaming. It is Hero in the red. And his opponent, spawning down in the bottom right for Onside Gaming, it is Maru. In the blue. That was some sexy play out of Hero there. He tightened things up so nicely and really scrapped that victory out. And while it was an aggressive move, it certainly was not an all-in by any stretch. Very effective play, very cool play, and very precise and tight. Meanwhile, Maru is mixing things up a little bit more. He's going to go for a double gas opener. And if Hero had been going for what he went for in game number two, Maru would be extremely well prepared for that. But... Hero's not. Hero's just... He just wanted to mix things up and knock Maru a little bit off of his game. A little bit out of his comfort zone. Uh, Hero not scouting, by the way, at all. Maru not scouting either, but he is opening up a quick factory. Now, let's see if it's a uh, single Reaper or if it's double Reaper Hellion. If it's double Reaper Hellion, Maru can expand on the high on the low ground, but nope, it's going to be quick reactor, which means Maru is likely to take the command center on the high ground. Anything other than that would be very greedy. Very greedy. 
And Maru, here's the power of proxying. Maru's looking around everywhere for where this proxy could be. Hero, opening up Stargate in the main. Oh, very quick. Oh, wow. Very quick tech lab and a starport coming in quite fast. This is probably Cyclone, right? Hang on. What is this going to be? Not enough gas just yet for Maru. There we go. There's the Cyclone. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we got the Phoenix coming on in. Oh, Reaper should have been able to see the Stargate. Yes, it was. SCV ready. An unfortunate byproduct of putting the pile on there. If he'd put it actually a little bit higher, one hex higher, I don't think that would have seen the Stargate. Maru. Oh, is he going to lose the Reaper here? Oh. Adepts in hot pursuit. They will get the kill. Very nice. Meanwhile, Phoenix does see that it is a quick cyclone. That won't tell him exactly... Actually, no. Seeing the, the command center does tell him exactly what he needs to know. Cyclones do have the buffed range. Buffed lock-on range. Hero, I, I don't know what he was trying to do there. Uh, obviously, he's trying to, you know, not get locked onto, but he, he could have just moved away. I guess he just wanted to get another scout. Engineering Bay here is very interesting, keeping it kind of hidden. Research complete. Mar doing a good job of zoning out as best as possible. This could be a very aggressive play out of Maru. Yeah, there's that very fast plus one weapon, plus one infantry weapons. Uh, we see a, a Raven being built into Phoenixes. That is so bold. And it's going to be uh, Phoenix Colossus coming on out. Now, Maru was not able to get the scout on at the robotics facility because I don't think it was done when the Reaper went in. But oh, what is this move out? This is a move out that's, I think, saying, I hope you're not still building Phoenixes. And I hope you're not going Phoenix three gate. Because if there was three gates... Oh, Adept. Oh, Shade is going to complete. Maru trying to stay hidden. And he will get the pick off there. Yeah, this is something a lot of Protoss players are starting to do is get three Phoenixes and then go very quickly into Robotics Bay. Wow, somehow none of those Phoenixes actually taking hull damage. They took a ton of damage aggregate and none of them took even a single point of hull. Now, the beauty of this is that Hero gets into super fast Colossus with this. The other beauty is that the Phoenixes, with just three of them, will still kill workers very quickly. Now, at some point, Hero is probably going to go back into Phoenix production. Maru, there's the stim and combat shields on the way. Medivacs are in production as well. He doesn't have the second medevac started just yet. Does have, well, he did have the gas for it, but he just spent it on something. Maru setting up for what looks like a very sharp timing. And if he can get the Raven in on top of that Colossus, I mean, he's going to have double uh, interference matrix. Doesn't matter if the Raven dies as long as it is able to get its two important spells off on the two Colossi. Because that is everything to Hero's army right now. Now, it would be worth it to sack all three Phoenixes to get the Raven. Oh, that Immortal is very out of position. Okay, he does pull it back. Hero, I think he's seen the Raven now. Ooh, spreading out the Phoenixes to try and keep tabs on the army. Second Colossus is on the way. We see a disrupt or is out now. We see a disruptor coming on in. There's the first interference matrix. Second one coming on in as well. That will isolate the Immortal and that Colossus. Both of them are going to fall. We're going to see the Robotics Bay getting depowered. Most likely, no, he's going after probes here. Widomize are going to get lifted. Oh, Marauders being uh, move commanded through. Definite F2 right there from Maru. Getting into the natural expansion now. He's kind of trapped. 
The Colossus does have extended thermal lance. This army is super overstimmed. Hero is very far down in supply. He's lost so many probes. But is this army too stimmed up from Maru? Great force field. That is going to lock a lot of these units here. Hero is still bleeding out so significantly, though. Maru will be able to lift up and save the majority of these. Well, not the majority, but a good number of these bio units. And that is really all he needs to do because he killed so many workers. So many workers went down. Hero is trying to rebuild. Ooh, Maru retargeted the Widowmine on the far back Zealot. Very smart. He didn't want to get mind dragged. And he can't really afford to stim here. Ooh, if Hero could have gotten that medevac before it unloaded, he might have been able to start to stabilize. As it is, he is having to go so far around. Robotic facility was sniped during all of this. And Maru, he has continued to keep the pressure on. He's got another army coming towards the third. Hero does have a good number of units there. Oh, Hallucinated Colossus is going to soak the Widowmine. Very cute. And Hero? Oh, can he stabilize? He's starting to do so. Maru does have a third command center done on location, though. And he is up so many workers. And a Widowmine just killed a few more. Yeah, this is... If it was a, a two-base Maru still, I'd say there's a chance, but yeah, Hero knows better. Hero knows that there's gotta be a third command center on location, and he knows that there's no chance. GG gets called, 2-1 lead for Maru. And here we are for game number four, spawning up at the top right for Dragon Kite Gaming. It is Hero. In the red. And his opponent, he's going for a, some aggression here. It is Onside Gaming's Maru. He's going to be hitting him with a proxy two racks. He says, you didn't scout me. You haven't scouted me. And I'm going to try and punish that. And, yeah, the Raven really can't be allowed to get off its spells like that. That is the big thing. Now, on Dragon Scales, it is really tough to defend like that. Really tough to defend like that. Maru? Oh, that's a pretty fast gas here. Now, this will still be just Marines. Wait, what? Actually, hang on. This, this is a fast... No, no, no. This is going to be Marines. It's going to be Marines. Um, yeah, okay. Hero not going gate nexus. That's good for him. Does take the nexus behind this. Ooh, puts the probe on patrol. That is probably best case scenario for Hero. No zealot being produced right yet, but we do see it. this coming on in. There's the bunker. Pylon getting canceled. Oh, but he needs that pylon so bad. Zealot is going to get Chrono boosted out. We will see Maru going up the ramp here. He is building a bunker in the main. That is bold. If he gets this pylon, I mean, that's... It's almost a, a game-losing pylon if that were to go down. Zealot already taking so much damage. Ooh, but he does get the SCV. Hero cannot afford to be supply blocked. He needs to get out his third gateway unit so badly. There we go. He's got that pylon being replaced. Ah, he's not going to be able to start this third gateway unit, though. It will be blocked. Now, because the bunker on the high ground does not... Or, well, the SCV goes down. Bunker on the high ground is not going to be able to finish. Oh, Nexus gets canceled. Okay. This might turn into a one base all-in out of Hero. He's got the robotics facility. That is such a tough decision to make, but I think it's the right one. Yeah, Hero's going to go for a four gate. Uh, Maru should go straight into Cyclone. He is building a command center. Oh, he's only on one gas. Yeah, there's the tech lab. Ooh, it's going to be a lifted bunk, uh, lifted barracks, I should say. Seven Marines are already on the field. The thing is, it's actually really difficult for Terran to hold a counterattack with a war prism right now. You need to snipe that prism. 
you desperately need to snipe that prism. He's going to need at least double cyclone in order to try and do so. Maru has scouted, so he knows what's up. So he can build bunkers as well as that double cyclone. I, I honestly don't even know if a starport... I mean, a Viking is going to be really handy here. Oh, Sentry's warping it, actually. Oh, look at this. Hero saying, I need to get out of my base as soon as... Oh, my God. Pick up the Sentry. Ah. I was like, man, he's saving so much time going around. But then kind of just doesn't. Adept going to warp in. He doesn't even want to use... Uh, have to use the... Doesn't even have to you want to have to use the uh, Warp Prism in its Warp Mode right now. Pylon is going to finish as he has enough money to warp in another unit. Bunker at the production. He doesn't want to get his production camped. He's building a siege tank here instead of an additional cyclone. Oh, got to be careful with the sentry. Hero is in the main base now. And force field on the bunker. Not going to come on in. Cyclone gets the lock on on the warp prism. That is the best target. Zealous going to warp on in. Oh, Cyclone, he doesn't want to lose that. It goes down. That is so much simplified for Hero now. But the Siege Tank is in a great position. He will unsiege it, though, to move it a little bit closer. Hero, does he see the Siege Tank? No, he doesn't. It was just out of range. He needs to drop those Zealots before the War Prism goes down. Viking gets the snipe on the Prism. That's huge. But the Zealots are going to get in on top of the Marines. And the Siege Tank will fall. Second one does get out, though. Hero is getting some good work done. If that War Prism had warped in another round of units, this game would be over. But as it is, Maru will survive. And Hero... Oh, he's going to try and recall. Lose is all but one of the Stalkers. And that is a big hold for Maru. And now... Oh, I think expanding might be a little greedy. I, I guess I guess he can. As long as he keeps up unit production. That's the most important thing. Hero is going to expand behind this. If that Viking had not sniped the War Prism, the game, the game is over. Hero wins and we're going to game five. As it stands, Hero is down a lot of workers. Oh, nice little uh, fancy just drops one unit. If he can get a good number of worker kills, he can equalize. He does have a lot of micro potential with this War Prism. Already snipes down three SCVs, but he is still down three workers at this point. And it's going to be two SCVs to one. Oh, nice target fire from Maru right there. Targeting the Stalker with that Siege Tank. Good job. Of course, that's the more valuable target. Ooh, nice job with the Adept. Using the friendly fire against Maru. But Hero, oh, while well, he's trying to snipe SCVs, he does get a couple more. And behind this, Hero is going for a very fast Templar Archives. With how wounded up a lot of these SCVs are, Storm Drops could be juicy. The problem is, of course, the Siege Tanks. And it will be Storm. I mean... Oh, Raven coming across the map for Harass. Look at how quick these gases at the natural are. Maru on... Uh, Maru is so far ahead in economy right now. Like, it is ridiculous how far ahead he is. And it's going to be a lot worse. Oh, Hero. Very nice quick pull. Only loses one probe. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. You No, don't show the High Templar. I mean, I know you want to get the feedback, but Storm's not done yet, by the way. Feedback, feedback, feedback. Okay. All right. He's going to be able to warp into an Archon. Or actually, no, he needs this. He, never mind. He needs this for, like, energy right here. Look at this missile turret, by the way, from here, uh, from uh, Maru. That is such a great missile turret. I think Hero should put a Zealot inside this warp prison. He's going to try and Storm Drop. There's the Storm Drop. It gets... Well, I got a few Marines. I was like, man, it looks like it killed so much. Killed, I think, five SCVs and a few Marines. Eh, better than expected. Zealots and Archon. A lot of these SCVs are low on HP. 
Oh, he's going to drop it on top of the tank. That is sexy. Archon target SCVs. No, he's just going to kill the tank. Meanwhile, double drop on the other side of the map. Widow mine. Oh, barely able to bro, but nice dodge from Hero. Hero is doing some good work with these zealots. Does he have enough to hold at home? Oh, feedback. Feedback, feedback. Nope. Okay. SCVs are falling. Maru shoots his own supply depot in panic. And he retreats. He retreats with the drop. Uh, hello? Hello? Okay, I guess he was scared of the storm. Uh, that was kind of his timing. Now, the War Prism did go down. Maru is still ahead. He is absolutely still ahead. And he's getting a Ghost Academy. He knows what his opponent's tech is. He's on three command centers. This is still a very good position for Maru. But Hero gets a chance in this game when he really shouldn't have had one. Like, absolutely no chance, no shot. Should he have had one? Feedback will come on in. Oh, Widow Mine. Oh, retarget fire. Nice job. Oh, Probe is going to spot. Here comes this drop from earlier. Oh, I mean, Marines do eat storms. And they are not... They are not the biggest fans of doing so either. Maru will re successfully retreat on out. And he's already got ghosts on the field. The thing is, at this point, the EMP change is actually so good for Maru's army. Oh, Storm trying to hunt for this army. Big Storm. And a feedback on the Raven, keeping that energy low again. Ra oh, wow. Feedback on the Ghost as well. And he is going to land some really nice micro right here. Is Hero. Oh, EMP does come on in. Stop that Siege tank getting so much value. D Storms are big, though. Widowmine does get down at the Observer. But Hero, what? How? How, what, how? Oh, st uh, the feedback. Not in time. EMP does land. Are there any storms available? There's still two storms available. First one, gonna whip. But this, this is all Marines. If he lands a single storm, it could be huge. Charge lots warping on in. Hero behind this. Forge, robotic space, second robo as well. EMP is going to land. And a huge stim coming in from Maru. Hero must retreat. He must retreat. He cannot stay. Oh, that EMP was so clutch. Archon drop going to try and find something. This is such a chaotic game right here. Oh my god. Frame perfect. War Prism Micro coming out from Hero. And now he will recall. He will get out without taking any hull damage on that War Prism. And now he's got double, double Robo. Starts up Extended Thermal Lance. He can go for two Colossus. First one on the way. Second one, he'll have the gas for it. Well, momentarily. Wait, where is the second robo? Two more gateways on the way. Oh, it's Disruptor. Okay, Disruptor to try and stabilize. Oh, where is the War Prism? He's counterattacking with it. He needs it to make sure he gets those. He impedes the storms. He, need, he needs the storms, I was going to say, but he gets the storms anyways. Oh, that's a big storm. Nine kills. That means nine kills from those storms right there. And the EMPs are not forthcoming. Not in time. Another big storm. There's barely any medevac energy here. Meanwhile, Zealot counterattack on the other side of the map will get cleaned up. But Hero is about to have a gigantic tech advantage. Once the Colossus start hitting the field in meaningful numbers. Oh my goodness. This is amazing out of Hero. Ooh, these... Oh, High Templar do not have feedback. Oh, the snipe gets broken, but he will get the second snipe. However, here comes a big flank. This army is mostly ghosts, and that is a powerful Colossus. Big storm coming in from the flank. Maru eats the whole storm, but Hero doesn't have enough. The ghosts, they're just going to stand strong. They've got 1-1, one, one. and it was just the single Colossus. No extended thermal lance. Second Colossus will hit the field, but there are a couple of Vikings. And those ghosts are surprisingly robust. They are sturdy units. What a chaotic and intense game this is. That looked like such a good engagement, but the ghosts just have so much HP. 
Maru confident in that fight. And he was right to be confident. I thought that was going to go so much better for Hero. Hero building a forward proxy pylon. Scan comes into the natural. Hero is building four probes at the time. He's finished up his 1-1, one, one, but Maru has 2-2 two, two on the way. Oh, what an exciting game this is. Maru still has Hero very much on the back foot. Hero, couple of storms available on these High Templar. Just hit 75 energy. 2-2 two, two is a gigantic timing for Maru, by the way. And Hero, well, he's going to see this command center landing, and he is not going to be happy about that. Your probes are under attack. I am here in the shadows. No observers on the field here for Hero either. Oh, that is so many ghosts right here. Oh, flank storms. Disruptor will take down. Oh, storms! Big storms coming on in. That's a lot of damage. Very nice flank coming in from Hero. But there are a lot of medevacs here. But that means now a big skip coming on in. All the ghosts getting hit. There's no EMPs remaining. Still, the Vikings will take down the Colossus. And that means it is just these very flimsy stalkers. A couple of Zealots are going to tank in the front. Disruptor will get targeted down. Hero is going to be forced back very shortly. Disruptor! Oh, Maru gets the save. Saves four out of the six Marauders. Two of them do still fall. But Hero is fighting with everything he's got. Man, this has been such a close game. But it looks like Maru has taken control pretty much completely at this point. Hero, four stalkers coming in, picking off a Marauder and a Marine. He is gritting this game. He is fighting this game out with everything he's got. But now Maru 2-2 two, two, is going to finish up. And Hero, oh, this is such a brutal anti-timing. Now, Disruptors don't care about upgrades. Maru is a little bit low on medevac energy right now. With a mind drops coming on in. Oh, those are going to be big. Oh, they are in fact big. A couple of SCVs are going to fall. Hero needs to retreat. Needs to retreat. Needs to retreat. Oh. oh, he blinks one of the stalkers to the side. That will actually kill an SCV or two. Cannons warping on in because there are no observers on the field. Hero trying to secure his own fifth nexus. Oh, good job pulling the probes. Maru has a fifth base of his own behind him. Oh, Widowmines will get taken down by those Disruptors. This is a lot of Disruptors here. Big flank coming on in. Maru loses a lot of ghosts on the first shot. Oh, that's another big couple of Disruptor shots. Maru is Disruptors will get avoided. EMPs and Kiting trying to come on in. Big link to the side. Vikings not going to be able to help too much here. Disruptors will get a couple of decent connections. Very decent connections. Does Maru have enough to hold? Most of the Disruptors have spent their shots, and it is 2-2 Bio now against the 2-0 Stalkers and Zealots. Is there enough on the ground? It looks like... Oh, man, it is really close. Hero did lose all of his disruptors, but the Zealots are reinforcing from the back. If he had a War Prism right into this fight, he might have been able to turn this immediately. Still, Maru is retaining just enough to stay alive. 18 SCVs went down, and all that did was even the worker count out. Hero is just gritting his teeth and refusing to give up. But Maru is taking firmer and firmer control of this game. Two Colossus at a time coming on in. Uh, Maru. Oh, that hot pickup saved, I think, everything. Only one kill, it looks like, on that Disruptor. With all the Vikings going down. Oh, just, oh, Stalkers do retreat to the right side. With all the Vikings going down, going back into Colossus is a great decision from Hero. But Maru is working his way up towards 3-2 upgrades. Oh, that's a big Widowmine shot. Maru gonna find this sixth Nexus. Hero 
Well, he might just be forced to attack in. And he really cannot. Oh, he's going to recall. Battery Overcharge is going to get used to try and save the Nexus, and it will be able to do so. Widowmine not getting the best connection. That's a lot of medevacs that are rather exposed. But look at all the Zealots getting cleaned up. There is no armor on these Zealots currently. It looked like that was going to be a really cost-efficient cleanup for Hero, but the upgrades are just so good for Maru right now. Maru, nice hot pickup. Going to be able to get out of there. And now he's going to rotate down to the bottom side. There is no recall available. Hero. Ooh, he is going to lose a couple of stalkers here. That is the... That, that's an orbital command. Why is that an orbital? Oh, Metavax. We'll be able to retreat on out. This is looking so good for Maru right now. Plus one armor will complete, but also two will plus three attack. Hero actually sneaking some probes to the right side. Widow Mines do get taken out by the Disruptors. Oh, nice lift on the command center to let the bio units spread out a little more effectively. Great spread from Maru. He's going to try and flank with some of these ghosts. This army of Hero is ultra in comparison to that of Maru's. Hero needs Disrupt... Well, he needs the single Disruptor he's got to land a gigantic shot on his opponent's army to have any chance in this game. That is the only way. That is the only way. Maru probably should have built a couple of Liberators, but I'm not going to be too critical because he is playing an excellent game. Disruptor shot will get canceled, will get killed, and this army is going to get flanked and taken out. Maru will take this engagement, and with it, he will take the series as well. Three to one in the finals of the KSL number four. He has now won three of these KSLs. Brilliant stuff from Maru. And thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell at the top. And thank you very much.